Hello and welcome back, comrades. We are now at the ninth episode of our heated series. Hopefully, uh, we came through the winter, come to the winter, get to the winter. Um, the main objectives are to earn money, ramp up the productivity, not get into the bankruptcy, and get started. Let's go. So we're picking up after the last uh, fantastic fire. Let's make it a little bit. Um, but the comrades are feeling well again, I hope so. Yeah, nice. Good and up and running. Um, 44 educated people, the only educated people in this city, um, educating all other people having lines before the education center school um, yeah. second thing where they are working is the hospital which is okay uh, we could reduce the staff um, the imbalance of missing doctors will not help us in any way so we can happily reduce our staff by half and uh, still have the same capacity mm. we'll maybe encourage to uh, the doctors to go out little bit more doctors doctors teachers they do everything for you yeah so let's recap a little bit we are playing the first year with population actually um, so the first at the totally the first year we constructed the city and constructed the heating plan now we have little industry and uh, fire station which is working sometimes uh, create the second factory uh, so we can earn some more money we need to staff them both after that we have some more to go a little industrial center um, slowly but surely will come up so far everything looks quite nice we are on harder settings cosmonaut mode um, with uh, hard frequent fires, uh, very uh, bitchy people, and everything is on the max. Uh, the aim of the game is to go without loans, so we have no loans. Never have taken loans in this playthrough. Um, we made it all happen with the money we have, and it's really tight, uh, so we need to earn some money to spend more money, basically. Let's have a short look at our economy. So it's quite interesting if you look uh, from what what did we imported, for example, uh, uh, for the whole season. So we have uh, 400, 500,000 rubles imported, uh, which is mostly consisted by steel. Half of it, uh, gravel is 40,000 tons, uh, 40,000 rubles. 50,000 even. Um, yeah. Not bad, but uh, gravel quarry, quill, gravel quarry uh, still costs more and uh, I'm still happy not to have some gravel. You can also add up the concrete, which, yeah, we got uh, gravel and concrete, let's say, uh, rounded up to 100,000 ruble. Uh, gravel quarry still costs uh, double of that. Uh, we have a big expense as fuel. 36,000 ruble, which we play. Uh, yeah, it's more than 10k of ruble a day, uh, uh, a month. So we play, let's see, um, we are in the second year in December. So uh, it's 18 months or something. Let's say 18 months. Yeah, so it's uh, uh, 2,000 ruble of fuel a month, which is okay. It's nothing to complain then we get to the more tiny uh, expenses prefab panels um, asphalt nearly 20,000 the <laughs> fabric picks up because we have to import some fill out the, <laughs> the uh, factory and yeah and we need actually we need to earn money uh, we spend for clothes and 
10,000 rubles, which is really small uh, food and meat come also, but I think these are also the starting expenses because uh, the storage and the trucks need to be filled up, so um, it's not representative. Alcohol, tiny amount, 3,600, nearly nothing. Did we export it something? I would be surprised. Uh, no, no, no. Nothing exported so far. Uh, we have imported uh, some of steel and power. Power, tiny amount, uh, steel is adding up um, from the western block because we need to have the power connection to the western block which is uh, coming on here um, we start with the smallest border available um, doing a pretty good job so <laughs> not at the moment we have no industry so let's see what happen if we have the industry but uh, also because we needed to connect to the western border, we also started in a place where the western border is quite near. Let's go over there. And here. Yeah. Um, and uh, there's the deliverance of power and um, also a border access. So um, if push comes to shove, we can go and uh, export to the westerners. Uh, we also can expand here and um, open a second border post for us or further down the road there's a third one even I don't think we will rely on this one um, I think these two are perfectly fine yep uh, back to the money situation so what we have also spent money on uh, vehicles exported don't know why maybe I sold someone somewhere Vehicles imported uh, really big, so nearly as much as we spent on uh, construction goods, 300,000, because the whole construction industry needs to be uh, purchased. Um, by construction industry, I mean plainly the trucks to construct us something. Uh, I have a modest construction crew which helped me uh, pulling up this city and uh, also uh, these factories which they are working on this one at the moment. Mm. Speed is a factor in this uh, playthrough, and uh, I want to be quite agile, but now it's uh, money saving mode. Mm. Let me grab a little bit of coffee. So, um, Immigrants and visitors, uh, we have uh, imported 70,000 rubles for uh, highly skilled uh, immigrants. Um, quantity of 60, 44 are still alive and well. Um, and we have uh, imported 700 workers from the western side. Um, yeah. Which would come as five times, this one would be five times as high if we imported Soviet ones, but the Western ones come with their own set of problems. So if we, we have imported all Soviets, we would spend uh, 300,000 ruble. Uh, so 70,000 dollars is a great, great one, which also needs to be in, taken into consideration when starting on the uh, hard mode. And uh, if you want to start with minimal money, uh, yeah, we need to basically cut uh, every corner we can. Domestic production, a uh, little bit on the bad side. So we co <laughs> we produced uh, 3,000 worth of clothes so far, uh, which is minuscule. Um, we need to export them also. Yeah, uh, we have lack of workforce still. Uh, we are building up and uh, pushing our city and pushing our workers. I think here's nothing interesting to have. Uh, crime is a problem which will arise. Uh, the Westerners are a little bit more criminal than our Soviet friends. And um, I hope the crime rate will st still stay low. Um, I hope the game gives us some uh, time to get our things together. Um, the next goal will be... Uh, if we have stabilized our money situation and earned some money, um, I want to 
erect a university and implement a crime and justice system because we need skilled people for the crime and justice. So this is also a race against the clock. Mm. The Soviets we invited are uh, will die in, in a shorter time. Um, they will live two years old. Oh, this one is nice, a middle-aged guy, but uh, yeah, I give him two years in-game uh, to reach the age of 80. Happiness is uh, on the max for hardest mode, as it should be. Mm. Yeah, we have a quite high rate of alcoholism. We don't know our loyalty. We know our loyalty overall, which is uh, bad. Um, so it's 30, 33%. It went a little bit up. It's maybe because of the monuments I plastered all, everywhere around. The comrades basically have to uh, make circles around the monuments so they don't hit one. Um, yeah. But uh, loyalty is really uh, a problematic thing. The documentation says that the loyalty can be raised up to 50% by passive gain. Um, I only can control the loyalty in a good way if I have the radio station. This is the last goal for this playthrough. Uh, I want to have in 10 years. I want to uh, finish this one without loans, without oil and other things we pull out of the ground. I don't know even what the resources here are. I'm not interested. Uh, we simply go with clothes, fabric, integrate our way backwards, uh, maybe to chemicals, maybe to farming. Uh, let's see how it goes. Um, we need to stay on the faster side with the uh, money earning side. Yeah. So these are now working and happy. The next one is the first immigrant house, which is still suffering from uh, low happiness. They burned once. They um, have a higher crime rate, which makes them unhappy. Um, they are Westerners and they are less loyal, which also uh, contribute to the low happiness. And what the loyalty actually does is, we see here, we have 76% happiness, which is uh, quite good, but uh, efficiency of 80%, which is uh, not so good. But it's getting there, it's getting there. I think with 80-90%, uh, we have to live for a while until we have the boost of the radio station. Yep. Okay. So, some more details. Uh, as we're standing here, is uh, the development of our people. Click it on all. Um, can we see population curve? Please. <laughs> okay, yeah. So we have um, 10 escapes, which is really, really low. I suspected some more because the start was quite rough. Um, you see the the points where I've invited additional Westerners people to integrate them into society, teach them how to read and write, uh, become better citizens. Um, we have, uh, I, no, we have more births than deaths, but only 50. I suspect if the uh, population is stable, we have a population growth of 20% a year. Um, I want to grow fast, but not too fast, so we. I have too many people which we have no use for so this is why the first four are uh, to good degree filled this one is also uh, they were the last invited we have 171 people here which is nice um, low happiness because they are quite new in this republic 122 uh, uh, who basically are so bad educated that they cannot go to work which is uh, not a good thing. We, we need to educate them. 50 we have also educated. Um, but we, we are getting there. Getting there. It's no problem. Uh, if it becomes a problem, we need to invite more teachers. But uh, I think uh, they are enough at the moment and also my new situation. Um, we have now 600 workers, which is a really good deal. So I don't know if there if these how they are counted because they are counted differently so we have uh, for example we have 150 babies 150 children yeah and uh, 400 not educated people so 
others 400 workers which are not educated or other children also counted to this. Um, could be wasn't different in the past. Um, I think the children are also in this group, but it wouldn't be so big. So uh, the last house is the biggest group of uneducated. Uh, here we have um, 38 of uneducated people. Um, the happiness is also still a little bit low, 85%. Ah, this one was not connected to um, to the road network. A uh, little no, no, what's going on here? So they need to uh, to <laughs> get back to uh, the happy state. Um, this one was always connected, never burned. So we have here yeah, happiness of 75%, which is okay. Um, will be better, will get up after time, uh, take some time. Productivity uh, 82%, which is, yeah, the be all and end all of our republic uh, productivity. Keep them happy, keep them productive, uh, make money with them. Yeah. Also, uh, really important is to uh, keep them healthy. So this one has an average age of 78 years it's because the Westerners come in in bad health. Uh, our people come in in good health and they have uh, 81 years to live, uh, which is quite good. Um, don't know if the water supply also rears its ugly head, but I don't think so. Uh, there was a fire here, so we had also a smaller problems with seating, but they should be okay. And stable, yep. Yeah. Okay. So, end of this recap. Um, I'm recording this series as uh, firstly for me. So, I'm recording uh, mostly one shots. Um, never reloaded this game. Uh, had to reload a uh, box safe or something. I, I do it as I go. I have tested a uh, different style of Cosmonaut Mode playthrough before. Uh, where I go on uh, maximum loans and um, after after producing some fabrics I went to oil which is also interesting but uh, oil is also in a way uh, yeah not the biggest challenge um, with oil you make a lot of money oil is a printing money printing machine which is okay which and I think uh, it should be like this but uh, we want to create something which I haven't seen before. So uh, I want to <laughs> give you the chance to take part of it. And uh, because it's my first series on YouTube, I apologize for the sound problems maybe or not optimal sound. I do not want to record, re-record any, any, uh, any episodes. I simply want to get them out and... Uh, Hope the experience will get better from here on. <laughs> I'm still learning, so please stay with me. If you've done so far, you maybe have your reasons, um, which is great. Thank you. Um, so let's start our game. Um, like I said, uh, the objective is making money. The game is a little bit more relaxed. If nothing burns, um, we need to shovel in essentially people here we have um, configured our bus stop last episode in crisis mode um, because the people needed to go to the fire station there was a fire it yeah, started to snow and uh, fire will come like it should be um, what I have seen is here the snow is not not uh, done and there's a nasty bug which I also suffered before if you see this, here's a snow, <laughs> snow uh, plow, and he has an invisible border. So this one he don't like to plow. I don't know why. Um, I've suffered from this before. Um, what helps is uh, to make stupid things like this. Use yes, if we uh, look here. This is oh, last time it helped. I put in. Ah, the border is here. Okay, put it in here. No help. 
another thing I have tried is to um, create um, places. Where is the place creator here? So let's try this one. I have one place here. I have one place here. So it's hopefully, hopefully in a region and uh, no, still an invisible border. Still don't want to go. Oh, now you want to go. Thank you. Let's see how far he goes. Um, this is bad bug. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Maybe he's a little bit short-sighted and he only goes to the next uh, thing he can see. Because uh, this one is too far away. He says, oh, maybe there's no road there. So I will not go. Yes. And on the opposite side, I think the same circus is going on. So we have here uh, road plowage up to this point. Um, I think these are long uh, road stretches. Where they simply don't want to go or don't care. So let's make them care. Yeah, these bugs are bad because if you don't uh, recognize them on an isolated state, you will never know what's going on. You think simply you have two little uh, snowplows or something else is wrong. Yeah, thank you, comrade. Maybe you go a little bit further. Uh, the other comrades uh, also try to help. Yeah. Good. Oh, they're so helpful that they came in pairs. Fantastic. Yeah, I hope they fix this soon. It's uh, it's not a high priority bug, but it's the rough edges of the game. Yeah, the gameplay is suffering a little bit because, uh, yeah. Who wants to know and to, who, who takes care of the snow plows that they're really plowing because of something is missing like a road sign, which you usually don't need. So we have here some unknown country for whatever reason. Um, let's combine it with the, road, with the region sign. So maybe they will like it here. Give them also a road sign. So... Everything should be chunky dory. I really have better things to do than to debug this one, but it's, uh, <laughs> let them go a little bit further. Maybe it's the range after all. Uh, let's see. Okay. Good. Because we have 700 workers, we should have more workers here and we should transport more workers. What is the situation in the people transport uh, department? Uh, we take 100%. We have three buses. We will activate uh, two buses. We will activate the third one. Give me the third one. Hmm. Where? Where is the third one? I thought I have them there. They're nowhere. Are they still tooling around uh, on on emergency fire duty? See the last episode if you want to have the bloody details of this one. Um, yeah. Where are you guys? To here. An oil tank here. Ah, here they are. <laughs> hmm. Behind schedule, comrade. Maybe you like the snow. Maybe you want to enjoy the snow the whole year. What about that? Yeah. Oh, he saved the Republic heroically because he delivered the people. We needed to go on fire duty because, uh, yeah.
this monument. Um, let's see if it's connected. Yeah, we need to passively upgrade our people to fantastic citizens because it's a fantastic republic and the only way to get to know of this one is uh, having monuments everywhere you go and look and live. What? Why? Should be a connection here. You, we see it clearly in the snow. Mm. Um, are we in assignment mode maybe? Let's go back to the thingy. Have this thingy here. This thingy here. Read what there's no connection to the road. Uh, excuse me. Oh, maybe. Ah, mm, we have, yeah. We have a crossover to the uh, kindergarten, which we didn't want. Um, So you go away. Uh, yeah, you can. <laughs> what happens here is you can cross over uh, straight over this one. And um, sometimes it's great if you are really tired. But that's what she said. Um, but um, sometimes it's not great. She is licky. Um, yeah. So comrades are running to the monuments to. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, maybe f five. Yeah. Um, comrades, make me some clothes. Go to the sweatshop and not sweatshirt shop. <laughs> uh, second factory is up. Um, let's. Ooh. Mm. These are good news. Uh, production is stopped. Because uh, you are still. Uh, you are loading. Do you load? Let's go in debug mode. What's going on here? Comrade. You should uh, load and unload. You have. You should load. Clone. What are you doing? You should unload your fabric. Ah, now you get the hint. Okay, comrade, we need to make money and not uh, toodle around here like some maniac. Okay, um, let's buy some more cover tolls. Plus, they are cornerstone of our <laughs> society. Um, cover tolls. Guess what? Uh, what? No, not concrete mixer. Uh, cover tools, um, SKDs, <laughs> standardize on something and stick with it. Uh, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three. Yeah. Um, the gods of the small border need to be pleasant to us. Is this our new candidate? Yes, it is. Uh, we lost also, we lost trucks at the border. It's a very, um, very risky undertaking to go here and um, come successfully. Oh, uh, he also needs to unload at the border. So give me the line, do some unloading at the border of clothes because we have them and we want to sell them and we load fantastic yes yes you get the drill no you didn't um, okay was so nice we did it twice click on the button click on escape done turn around ah Go to refuel. Okay. The other two comrades um, also getting something to do. So here at the border we load uh, fabric. We unload clothes. And next we go to the second factory. And we 
load close and we unload and wait for the unloading of fabric. Okie dokie. Let's start your journey. Where's your comrade? Comrade? Maybe he's refueling. Yeah. If we make some money, maybe we uh, give us the freedom to have a bigger fueling station. Okay. So you are on the factory too, so he will also go to factory too. And money situation 50,000. <laughs> um, yeah. So we have a problem because uh, we have an imbalance of loading and unloading, but it should even out, I think. Um, let's take a look. So because the ratio is uh, 2 to 1, um, we uh, should come with a full, full um, cover toll and he should get emptied. It's a little bit risky because now we... Here comes the second one. And he also uh, unloads. So they both wait and it can be that... Ah, frigate. You should, comrade, maybe... Uh, maybe we think about it a little bit harder. So we don't unload. Maybe I tell him... Yeah. Hmm. Not sure. Um, because I could tell him not to wait. Um, but this one would be also dangerous. <laughs> dangerous is a hard word, but uh, it would lead to uh, trucks driving around uh, losing fuel. And uh, we are really in the state where we don't want to use uh, lose fuel. We want to maximize our output, so hmm. we could we could s to tell him to unload sixty percent something. This one is yeah a little bit safer. We need the additional storage, I think, because this uh, juggling around is a little bit cumbersome. Yeah. The storage is simply too small, the, the factory will lock up itself um, by overproducing clothes which will not be uh, pulled out by these ones. If we have an um, unlikely but bad situation of uh, having more fabric than clothes. Money goes down 50,000, uh, we really need to pay attention to this one. Here we stock up on uh, steel. Slowly but surely, good western steel. Uh, this one can start. Uh, he needs bricks also, steel and some mechanical components. I think I tell him to uh, stack up on bricks from the western side. Um, so at the moment we have 159 tons of steel, just 50%. So I tell him to load up to 50%. 49% and uh, load up bricks so the bricks should uh, yeah should be the next point of priority for him we wait until we stocked up 100 tons of bricks and um, we can deal with the uh, next construction phase um, here we say if you want to have uh, bricks you will not get this from the border, you will get it from here. Let's see if it worked. Bricks open storage. Yeah, scrolling around, hurting my eyes. Um, this one also. If you want to have bricks, formerly from the border, 
don't take it from the border, take it from here. Steel and bricks now from open storage, rest still from the border. Um, wood is hardly worth to uh, transport. <laughs> it's, uh, get it from the nearest point and you're good. So, uh, what prices? I didn't even saw them on the list. Uh, here we also import open storage goods. Steel and bricks. Uh, steel is not assigned. Bricks will not be assigned. So these one are left uh, to take from the border. Pretty nice. Uh, road crew is idle. So let's see if we can do some snow roading, snow running. Um, maybe we gravel up the these loading stations, which are here for higher efficiency and more fun in life. Um, let's get our road crew to do something. Let's hope this works. Yes, thank you. Okay, build this one. Assign this one. Hopefully, it's still on three to cruise. Should itself assign itself, but uh, yeah, the game is on the test branch. It went to uh, some major changes, and uh, we feel it. We feel it. Do this one. Can also. Do this one, this one, maybe, maybe not. This one, and uh, we will start here the groundworks for uh, the factory. It's the fabric factory. Like I said before, we integrate backwards, um, and at the same time, not try to not go uh, broke. Um, We still should really keep an eye on. Hmm. Are there coming workers here? Yes, we should. More than enough. <laughs> so why not here? Let's limit this one to zero workers. It's a mystery. Comrades, we need to earn money. We really don't have much. The next big thing will be bought. We are basically uh, out of money. So... Let's hope it will not come to it. The coal is holding up fine, so you see we are stocked up on Max, uh, the old slow truck. Yeah. The few times he has to drive, uh, he will make it to the border. Okay, this one I like to see. Have the uh, road crews because we have some people here. Do this and this one. We still have no paver and uh, roller in the road construction crew. I paid enough for all the vehicles we have here. Yeah. I also need to uh, tell the minibus crew that they should minibus here because it's a short. Short point. This one is moving on, buying asphalt, concrete, and gravel from the eastern border. Yep. Could see if a third bus would be nice. Uh, the fourth bus. No, actually, there are three buses here. Yeah, 
Maybe it's better if they're all on the move than waiting here. Oh, well, not so many are waiting here. So I try to make this run as <laughs> efficient as possible. So um, drive up. If you remember over here in the first episode, uh, we have laid out this plan. So it's a 700 meter pipe. The pipe is horribly... Um, this horribly costs a lot of money because uh, steel prices are obnoxious. The pipe costs more than the heating plant. But um, I did want to have safe people, safe from the pollution, so 700 meters was the minimum which we uh, made here. And um, the healthiness of our people is okay. Um, optimally, optimal health will be 86 years, uh, which is not so easy to achieve, and certainly with the problems in the last year, no, we are not there. Okay. So, what is our situation here? At the start, we had 100, I think, uneducated. Now, um, nearly everyone is educated. Situation at the school is good. Situation at the hospital, also great. Okay. You get pressure on the hospital because of heating, because of uh, the loss, lack of meat or food, uh, because of sewage or drinking water problems. Uh, can be a nice death spiral because uh, the people are getting unhappy if they are sick, so they don't go for, for a nice piece of meat and uh, Brötchen. <laughs> yeah, here. I think we can uh, push it on the max. Uh, our crime problem still there. Have to deal with it. Um, what is our temperature outside? Minus 14 degrees. Let's take a look if um, the temperature is holding, but I think it should. So overlay temperature. Point of interest is here if it's 25 degrees. Oh, yeah, it's 25 degrees. Thank you for checking. What was the temperature? So uh, these ones, ah, maybe this is uh, why the health is not so optimal here. Mm, maybe we need a second heat exchanger. Yeah. So this one is quite a while away. Uh, the temperature here is in a good state, but... Um, the longer you go also in the uh, connection, you see they are suffering here from low temperature. Minus 15 degrees outside and we have uh, 15 degrees inside. <laughs> they make uh, 30 degrees, yeah. Yeah. Maybe a second heat pipe would be uh, suitable, but it will cost us an arm and a leg. Let's see. Um, do we have the not <laughs> not the oil line? Uh, let's see what a small heat pipe does. Uh, usually never go with small, but uh, needs must. So this one, what is it priced in? Hmm, thirty thousand rubles. Uh, Thirty-four tons of steel. Let's see what the other heat pipe does. Uh, so, um, go for heating. Uh, go for the big one. For <laughs> double the price, eighty thousand ruble. Uh, would be a warm home for sure, but yeah. I don't know what the small heating pipe uh, does at this uh, this high um, this long rate. Let's hope they all both lose the same amount of uh, heat. So this is the maximum range. Here would be a max range heat exchanger, uh, which you can only do underground. There's no way around it. 
but uh, now speculating for heating pipes we are not at the right time and place to do it uh, because of our money situation other things are higher on the priority list like this factory or it's coming it's coming um, 10 tons of gravel missing comrades are working hard we have a factory connection here we have this one here so let's build this one this one is ready okay send the road crew in and uh, Comrade minibus. Oh, lock it in. Activate. 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 Oh, also the this one is started. Which I'm not the biggest fan of. Let's hold your breath. Hold your horses. Um, ah, hopefully I haven't wasted much material here. Um. We need it, but not now. Hmm. Ah. Let's build it. If you make something wrong, double up on the, <laughs> on the error, like they say. Um, so. Factory connection for you. Um, yeah. Name of the game is not to get <laughs> run into bankruptcy. Did we export something this month? Or this year? Mm -hmm. well, this last month, last year would be the same. Pardon me. Last month. Export, yeah, 32,000. Import 50,000. <laughs> but it's great, it's great. Impressive. 32,000 exports for import. Uh, export, and what did we pay for it in fabric? Uh, 26,000. So we, we make 50%. Uh, uh, plus of 50% minus the import costs of the fuel and transport and vehicles minus uh, the things we need to pay for our citizens to survive <laughs> yeah but uh, industry is on the run okay so we made somehow 20,000 ruble plus I'm really glad to see because um, this means we will not go uh, to zero and uh, follow our proclaimed uh, goal to not take loans <laughs> um, yeah. so we wait here on the bricks which will arrive from far far away um, also there so because this one got bricks, this one <laughs> is missing the bricks. It's totally nice. Uh, 90 tons of bricks. Um, yeah. It's nice to see that this one is taking shape. Let's see. Did I see a zero production here? Yeah? yeah. Zero production. Uh, system is not good. So comrades, let's talk. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's... Uh, try to make it a little bit better so unload me 
90%. Which is not a good fix, but fix it should be. Unload me 90%. Hmm, I have maybe a better fix for this, but it's a little bit cumbersome. No, it's not. Can't fix it better. Yeah. So we have uh, he will drive us ten percent uh, around. It's, it's also, yeah, don't like it. Let's build a warehouse. Slowly but surely. Um, do we wait on the last portion of gravel, or do we raise it up? Uh portion of bricks. Let's raise it. Um, minibus be great. So what I'm talking about are um, these people here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which are quite busy. <laughs> this little bugger here. Yeah. Um, if they arrive at the, right, uh, at the construction place, they get also... Uh, a uh, nice big tower crane so they don't feel so alone and um, yeah this one here we go yeah and in no time we will have a fine warehouse Factory connections are mostly up. This one ain't. Let's check if the minibuses also take care of this one. Okay. Go, go, go. Still in the plus. 40,000 is really a low limit if a uh, chemical truck will fill up because uh, we have here the water purification industry. So he is, uh, yeah, nice. He's really full. He take 4,000 rules. Okay, we can take it, but uh, really not the greatest thing to be so tight on money. Mm -hmm. 33 uh, places to live here nearly full nearly full um, so let's start the next uh, building block we allow some workers in they will activate the rest so the tower crane will come and raise up this in the building Ah, our next monument is done. Yeah, nice. This one I want to have. So uh, we have monumented these ones with the little one and these three with this little one. We need another little one between these ones. So we have triple, quadruple monumentation. So this is a star and here's a star. So the stars give us 5% on the biggest range, 500 meters. Uh, Comrade Lenin uh, also gives nearly 5% on a smaller range, so one Comrade Lenin for these, uh, second Comrade Lenin for these here. Um, and the smallest ones give us 2.5%, uh, where are they? Here, 2.5% on the really smallest range. They're also quite cheap, but uh, smallest range. And I don't know if the Comrade needs to see them if they step out of the house or how the magical passive thing works because the percentages are really not adding up to anything um, there's a percent in the radio if if we have 20 percent on the radio uh, loyalty gain like here for example this one is five percent five percent fifteen percent uh, plus uh, two is it four percent or two percent i think two percent uh, plus two percent so uh, nearly 20 percent let's say 17 percent if we have this loyalty again on the radio the people would be loyal as heck and uh, the loyalty here is 37 percent oh we're on the rise which is nice um, could also be because of the education we have very low loyal teachers because we have imported them um, 
but it's on the rise so it's nice to see um, let's see uh, where we top up uh, if we stay above uh, 35% I'm happy and uh, at this level we have a productivity of 80-90% which uh, was if we keep our people happy uh, and they should be happy should everything everything should be there what they need except of crime um, the crime problem is uh, really pressing on uh, the crime rate is staying at 1% uh, if this one goes up I really uh, I'm concerted um, the kindergarten situation is good okay nice we have free roads now so we can plow along to victory.